Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I'm here with How to Kill a Kit with Style Layout Share for August. So I know there's been a lot leading up to this because this kit, this paper pad has been for the past two How to Kill a Kit with Styles. So um, I'll get into what's left over in a minute. I just wanted to go through the layouts. I wanted to show you the massive stack that was the past two months, at least with this collection. I did make a lot of other pages. Um, but I ended up with my paper pad that had 48 sheets doing 29 layouts. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go and take out the ones I already shared from last month. So if you want to see um, those, there, that will be in the July How to Kill a Kit with Style. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go through the ones I made this month with the remaining portion of the kit. Um, so this was the first one. It was um, for the Secret at Secret Kit Club's uh, repeat, oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, it was off the board challenge copying Laura and it was also a Scraptacular Cropping Club challenge to do a repeating shape. So I did hearts. Um, so that one was really cool. I've had this wood veneer Dear Lizzie heart cut file for forever and I've really been meaning to use it. So um, after I saw Laura's layout using it, I was like, all right, it's time to get it used up. So this one was fun. It was super different for me. Um, but yeah, I like I like what I got done. So, and I did go back. If you saw the process video, I didn't have this little puffy sticker on here, but it was the only puffy sticker left on the sheet by the end of the month. So I went back and stuck it on here to make sure it got used up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's layout one for this month. Layout two was super fun. I made this giant sea turtle shaker pocket <laughs> um, with some sequins that Lisa sent me. This is a um, Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file. I got it from Christina with Read to Find Creative because I don't have my own cut file machine um, and she will send them pre-cut, which is really nice for people who want cut files but don't have the machine. Um, but this is for Mercy TR's SS4 challenge and the Secret Not Secret Kit Club super themed challenge. So um, I have a little sea turtle here when I was on Maui. So I thought this uh, cut file was just perfect for this page. Um, I, I kept it pretty simple. I made the cut file and then I really just did a lot of little layers behind the photo um, and a little bit of stitching detail, but the rest of it I kept pretty simple. So there's that one. Um, number three, this was for Mercy Chara's sketch challenge and the Secret Night Secret Kit Club's Grab Six. Um, so this one was nice. I pretty much just followed the sketch for this one if you saw that process video. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. Um, I used frames, but then I gut it, so I had this huge chunk to use on another layout, so you'll see that polka dot pop up somewhere else. Uh, so there's that one. And then this one was the Secret at Secret Kit Club's favorite food challenge. It was also a bingo challenge and the Spectacular Cropping Club square challenge. So <laughs> this is a triple layout. I really like this one. I don't do grids all that often, but I like how this one turned out. And I also liked, I had two of these die cuts. I knew I was gonna have a hard time using it. But once I decided to use it on this page because it's a you know little tropical treat, this is a tropical treat. It goes, I layered them up together and made a little 3D um embellishment with these two identical cut files so that are die cuts so that was pretty cool <laughs> um, again i used some puppy stickers um, brought in some little gold words to kind of accentuate the gold that's on here so anyone who has not had acai needs to try it it's delicious yummy yummy my favorite treat ever <laughs> And then this one is for Paper Issues Pinspire Me. They had a Pinterest board that was very pink and green and watermelons. It had a little bit of red in it, but I kind of leaned more towards the pink just because I had pink in my collection. <laughs> so this one, I did some torn detail with this scrap that I had, and then I just layered up some scraps behind the photos. I was pretty much just using what I had in the size it was. Um, so there's that. I started pulling in. This is when I got these puffy thickers from Tuesday mornings. So from here on out, you'll see them on almost every page, but I thought they were so perfect. They went so well with this collection. I love the little hearts that came in it. But um, I also had these two little watermelon die cuts in the ephemera that I didn't think I would get used up this month, but that Pinterest board really helped me get them on a page. So I was really happy about that. And then I just did a little journaling on this banner down here. <clears throat> so there's that one. Um, number six was Paper Issues Take Five Challenge. Again, I was just trying to use the scraps I had left. <laughs> so I got this um, black and pink watermelon paper used up, which I had been avoiding for the longest time because the black was really throwing me off. 
uh, but I kind of tried to balance that by using like washi tape that had black in it. I painted this doily black and then I had some black in my twine so I kind of pulled it into the rest of the page a little bit. Again I used those puppy stickers. I got seven flamingos on here you guys. <laughs> I just layered them all up because this is my one page where I had a flamingo in a picture and I was like okay we're getting all the flamingos on this page so I stacked them up so I'm happy I got them on a page. <laughs> um, but yeah this was really cool. This was the Honolulu Zoo um, so they had a lot of a lot of cool animals there. So there's that one. This one, I don't know if you can call it a scrapbook page, it's kind of not, but I still wanted to show you because it's a really good way when you're killing a kit and you just have scraps left to do something. I also like doing this on vacations where I have a ton of photos and if I was going to do like a couple photos per page, some of them might not get scrapped just because they weren't worth a whole page. And something like this, we were at the um, Dole Pineapple Plantation. We had a lot of pictures and I took pictures from a lot of cool different plants we saw and I almost wasn't going to scrap some of these just because there were so many um, but I looked at them and I, I wanted to so I decided just to plaster an entire page with photos it's basically just six photos and then I just embellished a little bit but this is a great way if you have a lot of photos and you don't want to not scrap them but they're not really worth a whole page Get them all on one layout and just do a little bit of embellishment and that's a great way to use up some smaller scraps if you don't have enough to do a full page. Um, doing just something like this is a really easy way to get some of those smaller scraps used up. Just do a little embellishment corner somewhere, cut banners. Um, so there's that one. Don't know if you want to count that as a whole page or not, but I did want to just show you what I kind of do in that circumstance. <laughs> so there's that one. This one we are really, really getting down to scraps. This was my last full sheet, I believe. No, it's my second to last full sheet. Um, <clears throat> this one was for Paper Issues Summer Love and Challenge, but I, I just plonked these scraps down how they were already. If you guys saw that process video, this page took me 32 minutes because <laughs> I just put them the scraps down the way they already laid out. Um, so it, it came together really quick. I had one flamingo left over from the On Trend 2 collection. So I got that one on here. I got all my flamingos on here. Really happy about that. I got three puffy stickers. So the rest of my puffy stickers I got used up. Again, I pulled in these little puffy stickers, which I think are adorable. Um, so that one's pretty simple. This is kind of how my pages look towards the end of a kit where I'm just layering the way the scraps are. <laughs> um, so there's that one. And then um, my last 12 by 12 was really different for me. The Scraptacular Cropping Club had a challenge to kind of do something mosaic like which I thought was going to be really appropriate with using scraps so I used my last 12 by 12 I matted it on the piece I gutted from around this hot pink paper as my background but then I just I ha I don't have a lot of scraps left at this point so I just used my scraps to kind of do a kind of mosaic look I don't know how I feel about it um, <laughs> it's very different for me but I thought it was an interesting way to use scraps um, if I had more scraps in these colors that kind of went, I could have built off even more and done a whole page of mosaic tiles. I think that would have looked really cool. Um, but I got all the pink and green ones on here at least. I used up a few more die cuts. I pulled in these cute little Dear Lizzie brads that Lisa sent me. I did do some Nouveau drops in gold and pink just because. <laughs> um, so I thought that was fun. It was interesting, something I hadn't done before and another great way to use scraps. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. So those are all the full layouts. I did only have some small scraps left over, so I did do another Traveler's Notebook <laughs> layout spread. It's not as favorite as my first one. The first layout I ever did was this one. I think it's so precious, and I really set the bar high for myself, so not as good as that one, but I did get more scraps used up. So this was our first trip to Hawaii. I used um, some scraps here, this coral. I used uh, that rainbow paper to map my photos. Um, there wasn't a whole lot left to use up, at least in the colors and the sizes I needed, but I did just wanted to show you how I used a few more of the scraps <laughs> up on here. So there's that. Um, again, I don't know if you want to count that as a whole layout or not, but those are, that's everything I made. So now let me just show you what's left over. Um, so again, we started with a full paper pad back before, in the beginning of July, and there are 48 sheets, and this is what's left over. So basically where I gutted from um, frames and stuff 
like all these strips are where I just gutted a paper to go inside the middle of the frame. <laughs> and there's a few punches I had punched out for something else that I ended up not using. Um, so those were left over. I did fussy cut, oh, they're stuck to the page, some pineapples that I uh, didn't all get used up. But I didn't think that was too bad. <laughs> um, not a whole lot left over. So that's what's left pretty much. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really excited about my next, my next kit. So um, different than this one, still working with Hawaii, but also able to do other kinds of layouts too. So I'm really, really excited by it. And I hope you enjoy next month. So tune in, make sure you check out everyone else's layout shares who played along this month and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.